Well, it seems Ubisoft is closing and canceling and deleting your own accounts. Your accounts that have many of video games on them. Maybe you haven't logged into it for years. Maybe you haven't logged and haven't played a Ubisoft game in a while. But it seems Ubisoft is now obliged to cancel and delete your accounts if they go inactive for four years. Well, it seems some of our favorite YouTubers are sitting there and raising the alarm to this, so I'm going to chime in on this as well. Everyone's saying, oh, this feels illegal. They shouldn't have to do this. They can't do this. But there's been added context to this uh, by community notes on Twitter because the community notes are one of the things that just seems to be an ongoing gift that keeps on giving. You've got some ordinary gamers, uh, me, Mudahar, and uh, Moist Critical or Penguin Zero, Pings, Pings, Queens Zero, whatever, whatever name they want to go by, talking about the Ubisoft support situation. And there's added context to this that is 100% important here. Um, <clears throat> when you own a game, you should ultimately own the game. But when it comes to data protection laws and privacy, the, their hands are getting tied very quickly on this because now there's a limit to the, um, the length of time they can hold that data. It stays in a server and because the, there's a possible breach of privacy when it comes to these data laws, now they have to sit there and go, well, we've got to clear them out. This is another reason why I see here on YouTube by the way, like, subscribe, share, all these other things. This is why, though, I see on YouTube, my subscriber count does this and then this and this and then right back down. It goes up and down because Google and YouTube has to delete inactive accounts. This is mainly a law that's in the UK, but it affects everybody online. So some people are getting this email sent to them. Ubisoft, hello, we noticed that you have not been using your Ubisoft account associated with email address. Uh, we have temporarily suspended your inactive Ubisoft account and will be closing it permanently in 30 days in accordance to our terms of service. If you wish to keep your account, you can cancel it by uh, its closure by clicking on the cancel button below before uh, it would be the 23rd whatever date they give you. They're going to delete your account. They're going to get rid of your account, but legally they have to at this point, which absolutely sucks. You There, sh there needs to come down the pipe a way to keep your account without having to constantly log into these accounts because every day you're getting bombarded with everyone's own launcher and their own account and everything like that. And nobody wants to install this on their computer nonstop because it takes up space, it takes up your, your resources, and it does a lot of bad things to your account and your computer overall. So what this is, is the fourth anniversary of the GDPR, which is the General Data Protection Legislation, came into effect in the EU on May 20, 25th, 2018. Since then, the global data protection stage has seen many key developments. Four years on, the GDPR has become the new world standard for privacy and data protection, with as many as 20 countries around the world introducing new legislation that, it, that uses this, this law. So if you go into the Ubisoft stuff about the closure of inactive Ubisoft accounts, as part of our terms of service, in rare instances, we maybe immediately close inactive accounts to comply with local data protection legislation. Here's the problem. Everyone that does this as a local data protection law they are making this envelope smaller, right? You buy a game, you get a CD key, you go out there and you put it into your computer. Four years down the line when you have stopped playing the game and no longer require the services that are required to play the game, suddenly your game is gone. It's deleted, your account is deleted, you lose that. This is crap. This affects all gamers. This affects anyone that owns a PC, you own a PS5, you own a Nintendo, you own whatever you want. This is why we see a updated uh, console come out about every six to seven years from the previous one because a lot of these laws, they keep evolving and they keep updating and then the, the hardware, yes, lags behind it, but one of the reasons why they keep doing this is because your, your terms of service, your laws, the legislation laws that are out there keep 
pushing the industry forward and, and, and keep changing. Like here up in Canada, they are put introducing all these new legislation acts that absolutely are detrimental to the internet and to me making videos here online, which absolutely sucks. Going to have to go down the line and try and adjust where I can and hopefully continue to make these videos and continue to do that down through the world. But we'll have to wait to see where that one goes. But when it comes to data protection, it's there's stiff penalties and fines. It just sucks because once you own a movie or a video game, you should just own the movie or video game. Once you buy it on a digital purchase, you shouldn't have to sit there and shell out new money to do these things. There should be a way that consumer protection needs to step up here. And we really need consumer protection laws to, to step up there saying you own these items for the length of your lifetime or, or until you sell them or something. Um, I know there's talk right now of a uh, secondary market digital marketplace for video games. Um, there's also talk out there that like 70 plus over 70 percent of the video games ever created are unplayable at this point because you just have no way to play them anymore and there's things changing in this and i think something needs to step up legislation needs to step into place and some consumer advocates need to step up and help protect the gamers and everyone that plays these video games it sucks to see ubisoft having to close accounts, but we also see, and we've seen this with Sony, we've seen this with many other things where licenses expire and then suddenly they pull all these digital entities. This is one of the reasons why owning copies of these games is needed, but when you plug in these games now and then you require like a update day one and these updates say, okay, yeah, you own the physical copy of these games, but it's a digital download for this part and uh, if if you lose that digital download you no longer can own these games either they're they're enveloping these security features in these games and it's absolutely horrific anyway i'm your proud canadian phoenix Sinichado. don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you again next time Come here. Stay. Come here. Can you get it? Get it. Get it. Come on. Good girl.